And we're back in the game with some more Total War Rome Remastered and the RTR Imperium Surrector mod playing as the Iceni. Now, last episode we took a bit of a gamble, pretty much because we had to, and we've uh, ventured back to Europe. Uh, we had to use our fleet to clear out the rebel pirates, but we got an army over and we captured a Roman city. And now we're going to be facing a lot more Romans. The problem is going to be supplying our troops. Uh, we're going to have to maintain our navy. And we're going to have to pick the best time and place to get our troops over. Uh, as you can see, there's already a lot more pirates out there. I was debating whether to sack the settlement. I mean, it is bringing in some money. We're almost out of money. Well, we've got 10,000. We're actually making a slight loss because uh, we've got two Roman armies out here already with uh, another one on its way. Alright, let's try to get rid of them. There could be more pirates out there. There are, but we managed to get right past them somehow. So that was good. How many is over there? Oh, another nine. Can we take them? We're going to lose some ships, but. I say we take them, take them on. So we're down to what, 18? Yep. Get up over there. And we're going to need to start getting some more troops now. Are we making money? 202. Right. Do we have an extra general anywhere? Right, we've got four there. We've got our faction there. And three generals. He's from a different tribe. Molikana, Silurus. I know those are Britain tribes and Dumnomii. The Olikana, never heard of them. That's where I live, or oh, that's where I was born, I should say. And there's our faction leader, Senianus, the gambler. I think Senianus was the father of uh, Queen Bodicea, wasn't he? I'm sure her father's name was something like that. So you're making 307 there. I don't think we have extra generals. What agents do we have? We've only got one diplomat. Okay, who are we allied to? Carthage and Alverni. Right, Swaby or Massilia. I don't think we can get an alliance with either one of them, but we shall try. Come up there, that's where the Swaby are. We've been at war with them before. So we are getting some more Belgic infantry. Uh, they performed quite well. Oh, our money suddenly went up. That's good. That is good. But we're going to have to spend a lot. Just get these fleets up. As I said, we need to maintain control uh, of the English Channel. Transporting troops over. And I think we are going to have to recruit someone up there. We're basically out of money though. I think we taxed everyone as much as we could. We don't have any growth there at all. Right. If we have to, we will destroy it. Currently there's no units that we can get from there. All agents are a lot more expensive than the base game in this mod. Alright, let's see what's going to happen. Yep, they are attacking. We're going to have to fight our way out or distract them somewhere else. 
Uh, they brought out another army up. Hmm. Well, we've got four generals in there. Can't just abandon them. And the money went back down again. Loving the music. Listen to it. I might need to turn the music up. I'm not sure if you can actually hear it. Can you? That's actually balanced. Ooh, that was unexpected, but very welcome. Ah, look at this. Look at all these armies they're bringing up. That's our spy, isn't it? He's got a 50% chance. Let's bring him up. Got a lot of mercenaries in there, including, well, companion cavalry. Right. How strong are they? 15 units. Not all at full strength. Just 17, that's 32. Ah, the Swaby broke their alliance with Rome for us. Most unexpected. Right. I mean, basically, we don't have the money to put in new buildings anywhere. No, we don't even have that one. That is necessary so that we can get units. Right. I mean, that's a 20 stack there. That's 18. That's 24. We'd need two armies there. We're going to have to fight our way out or try to get over here and distract them. But we're not going to be able to recruit many units. That's the problem. 520. I think you're getting a small discount. Yeah. But even so, I mean, that's going to take most of our money. Can we get anything now? Nope. So we cast that. 982. 695. Let's get some heavy chariots and see how well they perform. Then we can at least get some units from there. Can you hear that uh, music? It's awesome. Awesome. Right. So at the moment we've got one unit that we could send over. Not good. We're going to have to sally out. We've only got 16. Nope. That second army isn't coming in, is it? So we outnumber them by 600-ish, 7. That's a powerful cav unit. We do have heavy chariots. We've got some naked guys there. I'm fairly certain they're naked. And we do have the range advantage because the Romans, until they get the marrying reforms, only have skirmishers, velites. They do not have archers and they don't have slingers. Even after the marrying reforms in this mod, they only get, I think, two archer units or two from Italy. We'll probably get some more if we get over to like Syria or Nabatea. Right, so those are four strong sword units. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six good spears. We might win it, but remember, they've got another army right behind it. This is going to be hard to hold on to, even if we win this battle. We may just have to keep sacking settlements. There's only three coastal settlements that we can go after realistically. And the Romans seem to have unlimited manpower. I'm starting to yawn. 
Right, it's some raining. What a surprise. It's raining quite a bit, although it appears to be sunny here. Hmm. There's a big settlement, I mean really big settlement, although it wouldn't be fun trying to hold that city centre. That's the governor's building. Nope, quick forum. Alright, let's organise them. Now if we put the slingers up on the walls, they might have to range. They might. We might be able to draw the Romans close enough. Might possibly. Right, your spears, I should include you all together. Alright, it's not that. I want them to come forward. Unfortunately, they're pulling back. But if we come out, we might come forward again. Alright, we'll just speed that up. They have pulled back. It looks like they're getting hit by the towers. Well, it looked like the towers were firing. Somebody's coming forth. Tiny little unit. Yeah, ceasefire. Because you're probably doing more damage to our own troops. That's a really annoying little unit there. It will not die off. Come on, build spears against Triarii. We're losing, I think. They are not dying off. Right, what's the rest of their army doing? Playing around. Come on, kill off that unit of Triarii. <laughs> no, get back, get back, get back. Silly Billies, get back. Looks like you lost a lot of men. Somebody throwing javelins at your back. Must have been the Belizees. Alright. Where are those chariots? Right, those are not heavy chariots, but they are also skirmish. Not a big fan of those. Are they going to come within range? I have a feeling that they're not. Right, that's the uh, effect of range. We're going to have to bring them down. You can run. Right, that's the companion cav. Right, normal speed. At least they don't have an actual general out there. Come on, slingers. Right, they are finally coming down. 
Oh, they are. No, oh, looks like they were destroying my chariots. See what we can do by charging them. We charge into the prink phase. We're going to do any damage? We haven't lost anyone yet. Okay, they just broke. I mean, they were doing really well, and then they just broke. Alright, go off the companions. They'll probably rally. There's 29 of them. They have already rallied. Come on, slingers. Some slingers have gotten in range. Right. Charge. Where are those other blasted slingers? Come on. Right, charge. What did we do to the companions? Not much, if anything. That's my general. Right, that unit's way up there. Come on, Cav. It's fairly close, but I think we're going to get them. Yep, looks like we've won over here. Cavalry, get up over there. General, get in there. You got charging on the rear of them. Where are those chariots? No, don't fire out there. Fire over here. Gonna have to manually target them, I think. Right, are you going to break them? There's a bit of a slog out here, I think. Now oh, we lost the chariots again. Well, surprisingly, we didn't lose much in the way of cavalry. And they're not particularly powerful. Get out there and then come in for a charge. Yep, come in there. See what kind of damage we could do. Looks like a decent charge. Took a lot of casualties though. Right, 
Right, go for a charge there because they're already shaken and there's only 50 of them. We've lost 59%. Yeah, looks like we broke them over there. So hopefully we can free up some units. Ah, oh, we've lost one general, haven't we? Yep. Who did we lose? Quarter in of the Dumnonii. We are wearing them down though. Oh, the chariots are back. Well, we've already lost you. Come on, Cav. Now uh, we're shaken. Uh, we didn't break them. We didn't get a very good charge in on them. Might lose some more generals as yet. Can we not kill off this unit? Those Prinkapes are even being charged from the rear. They're holding out. Don't know where this guy is, but nope, oh, there he goes. Finally, we got him. Right, they are finally gone. They're all going, aren't they? They are all breaking. Get in there. Go on. Keep going. There's only 180 of them left. We lost 56% of our army. And we definitely lost one general. And they lost a captain. Boy, that was a tough fight. I'm exhausted. Speed it up. Because there's 13 of them left. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Why, why, Rome 2 couldn't have a uh, 
ounce of power bar like this or Empire Total War or Napoleon come on there's two men left run them down run them down kill them having trouble finding that last guy really having a lot of trouble finding him there finally victory <laughs> yeah, that's an 1800 men although when the generals replenish It'll be around about 18. But man, we took a lot of casualties. And that was outnumbering them by what, 700? 7 or 800. Whew. No wonder. Well, we only have 113 left. I was going to pop out. See if I could get some mercenaries. I mean, are there any mercenaries? There aren't. I need to change that. That's too expensive. Right, get back in there. We're going to make some money, but again, we have to get the troops over here. Too bad it couldn't say General of the um, Chieftain of the Domnonii. That would look good. Right, we'll give it another end turn. Uh, we've got the Spy at Gornicum. And the Spy over here. I guess we should be moving you over, right? So you're already in there, so in that case we could send you over to there. Right. Don't have a better idea of what they have. Those two will replenish quite a bit. This is going to be a tough campaign. I was surprised how quickly the Romans had advanced. And how many stacks the Swabie threw at us. Now, it would be nice if the Swabie attacked them. But I think they have a fairly large border with the Romans. Well, back under siege. Uh, we do get two buildings. Let's see what your chance is. We'll just bring you over there. See, we've got a decent population. We have a general, Publius Cornelius Scipio. Right, that's who we want, Massalia. Right, get on board. I mean, those chariots did okay, but they weren't amazing. Wish we could have got a bigger discount. Those will not hold up against uh, Romans or against Roman cab. Mm, but we've got 1800. Right, we'll go with those. Those slingers put out a lot of firepower. They are heading north, aren't they? Look as if they've taken a lot of casualties. 
Can we see what's in his army? If we sally out, we can. Twenty-one hundred. So they actually outnumber us now. They've got all of those Belovasian infantry. They're tough. I mean, the Astarte put up a really tough fight. I mean, we might not quite have. If they attacked us, we could probably defeat them. Although we have a large town centre to defend. But that's all that we'll do for this episode, I think.